My name is Kurt Rosencrantz, and I am a gizmo designer at Explore Learning. And since we're all stuck at home with the coronavirus, um, I thought it'd be fun to do some science experiments that you can do at home with uh, just materials you have lying around the house, hopefully. And then we'll talk about some gizmos that relate to the materials. So if you're a parent, you can do these with your kids. And if you're a teacher, you can assign these to your students. Um, so we'll start off with a real quick one. Um, this is a, a little magic trick that I've done a few times when I was a teacher. Um, you, you've probably all heard of the baking soda and vinegar reaction. And so all you need for this is baking soda and vinegar and a measuring cup and a candle. So unlike the, uh, the volcano reactions and things like that, you don't really need a lot of baking soda for this, so just a spoonful will do. So I'll add a spoonful. And you don't really have enough to measure anything, just add you know, just a little bit of vinegar, a couple ounces. And you can see that nice bubbly reaction that you're used to if you're making a science project volcano or anything else. And so for this experiment, you just want to let that settle down, let all those bubbles pop. In the meantime, we'll light up the candle. And so now the goal is to take what's in this cup and try to blow out the candle with it. So we'll see if this works. You very carefully bring the cup over and then you start to pour. And even though it doesn't look like anything came out of the cup, the candle went out. So what do you think happened? what kind of gas must have been in this cup to put out the candle. So now we'll uh, look at one of the gizmos and then we'll uh, hopefully find out the answer. Okay, now that you've seen that little magic trick with the vinegar and baking soda, we're gonna take a look at a gizmo that relates to that experiment and try to find out a little bit more about what happened. So we'll go to explorelearning.com and I've logged in and um, we're going to look for a gizmo called chemical changes. And we'll launch the gizmo. And this gizmo allows you to take a look at a whole bunch of different chemical reactions. And the reaction we're going to look at that's most closely related to what we just saw is reaction of calcium chloride and sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is baking soda. And in this case, we're actually adding a salt to it, calcium chloride, to, um, to this reaction. So we'll press play. And you can see that there's bubbles forming and a hissing sound. So that is an indicator that maybe a gas is forming. But we can use this gas collection setting and we can capture the gas. And the gas goes up through this tube and into this container and it displaces the water inside the container. And then to see what kind of gas we have, we have a tool called a glowing splint. It's just a piece of wood with a kind of a burning ember on the end of it. And in some gases, it causes an explosion, like hydrogen gas will have a sort of a little explosion with a pop sound, and oxygen will cause it to flare up into a, a flame. But some gases will cause the, the splint to go out, and um, one of those gases is carbon dioxide. So let's see what happens. So we drag this into the screen, and the splint went out, and it tells you here that the glowing splint was extinguished. So that tells you that maybe carbon dioxide is a, is a product of this reaction. Now we can go to the chemical equation here. And this is, as, again, this is calcium chloride and sodium bicarbonate. And the products include calcium carbonate, salt, 
and carbon dioxide in water. So yes, carbon dioxide is one of the one of the products of this reaction. And even though we don't have the reaction of baking soda and vinegar in this gizmo, um, it, carbon dioxide is a, re, a product of that reaction. And you can see with the formula of the baking soda, there is the carbon and the oxygen inside there. So um, that's what's happening in that reaction. So um, enjoy the experiment and I uh, hope you take a look at the gizmo as well. Thank you.